outstanding lead performance in a play, we would like to honor the spectacular winners. First in alphabetical order is my pal, and I played her mother-in-law in Seeds from a Marriage, Jessica Chess. <laughs> people got seven o'clock. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you so much to the New York theater um, <coughs> critics and reviewers and journalists. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I would never be able to express it in words without getting way too emotional. So my grandmother took me to go see live theater for the first time when I was seven years old. And it was the first time in, I, in my life that I felt seen and understood by a, a community of people. And I didn't, growing up in Northern California, I didn't have a lot of access to the arts. But I had a subscription to American Theater Magazine, and I had a VHS cassette recorder, I don't know if everyone in this room knows what that is, <laughs> that I would record PBS, great performances, and the Tonys, and, and rewatch them throughout the year. And I dreamed of someday moving to New York and being a part of this community. So I owe a huge uh, deal of gratitude and thanks to the Juilliard School because there, who actually brought me to New York and accepted me into their program, Group 32. Um, and while I was studying here, um, it was people in this room who guided me towards productions that achieved uh, artistic excellence and really pushed the envelope of what I thought was possible in the theater world. Uh, I have been very fortunate, um, way beyond my expectations, with my film and television career. Um, beyond my wildest dreams. But the reality is, during this whole time, I felt some longing for this community because it really has been a group of artists that saved me when I was a kid. Um, it's been over a decade since I have been on stage and back doing theater. And I would not be at the Hudson Theater, I would not be standing here with you guys if, it, if I had met Jamie Lloyd because he is such an incredible person who brought me back to the theater. And his nurturing, his kindness, his fearless brilliance inspired a safe place for me to be open and vulnerable and creative. And the group of artists he brings together makes going to work so uplifting. And to have the opportunity to work with that great Amy Herzog, to be her Nora, um, in her Broadway debut, speaking of her lines, the first woman to adapt a doll's house on Broadway. for me um, and the ensemble the incredible cast and crew um, that Jamie put together um, absolutely uh, deserves you know to be acknowledged today because they're the reason I'm here and I would like I owe um, Ben and Max a huge thanks our sound designers because they've really created a space for authenticity and emotional intimacy unlike anything I have ever experienced on our very first day of rehearsal Jamie Lloyd um, connects all of the actors on this energetic, invisible grid. And after months of living in a doll's house and in Nora's skin and performing, and after spending so much time with you all in the New York theater community, my home, I feel as though we have always been connected on Jamie's invisible grid. Reaching all the way to that seven-year-old in Northern California, this community changed my life for the better, and I hold you all in deep admiration and gratitude. So thank you guys so much.